Hello YouTubes and welcome to this little video. This time around I will give you a little tip of how you can see user reviews of a demo on Steam. I recently had this problem because I'm creating this game called Fireworks Mania and I on this channel usually do uh, devlogs and stuff like that around that game but also from time to time when I run into issues like this and um, that could be useful for others I do these kind of small tutorials tips and tricks videos. So today we're gonna look at how to view user reviews of a demo on Steam. It sounds easy enough because you would imagine that you just found your demo here, in this case Fireworks Mania, and if you hover over it you can see here to the right it says 16 reviews. So you would imagine that you just clicked that one and went into the demo and saw the reviews. But apparently you don't, because it says no user reviews, both up here in the top and also here in the bottom, no user reviews. So what's going on here? Well, I don't know. Uh, it must be a glitch in the matrix, a little bug in Steam, I guess. Because um, apparently, as far as I know, reviews, user reviews, shouldn't be enabled for demos anyway. But apparently, some people have managed to give my game a little uh, review. And of course, as the developer of the game, I would very much like to read these reviews. And then I did a little researching and found out that there actually is an API where you can get stuff like this. But it's not super easy, so I think I will... Well, it is actually easy when you know what to do, but at least I did it wrong at first. So let me show you what I found out. So I found this API called uh, User Reviews, where you can take this uh, the Steam API here, and you can see that we can put in an uh, app ID in here. So if we do that, I have some prepared here, but let's do this. So in this case, you would go in here and you will click this one. That would be the most uh, intuitive thing to do. Then you take up the, you take the app ID up here, put it in here, and then click uh, hit enter. And then we see that there's no user reviews, but um, that's also what it says here. Um, but the thing is that what you need to remember, at least the way I understand Steam works, um, the demo you created is just an associated fake app with your real app or whatever you want to call it. So what you see here is actually the demo app and when you click it, it's redirected to your main store page. Again, I'm guessing, I don't know how it works. I don't work for Steam or anything, but um, I'm guessing it worked this way. So we want the ID of the demo um, and not for the real game. So we can do this by, in this case in uh, Chrome here, we can right click and we can say, in, I think it's inspect in English. And then we can see there is a link here for the image and here we have a different app ID. So uh, you take this ID, go back to the API we have up here and then you put in this one. And then you see still nothing and thinking, he's lying to me, it doesn't work. What's wrong? And the thing that is wrong is that if you go back to the API here, you will see that language for first of all needs to be set to all. So let's do that. Uh, well, it doesn't say it needs to be set to all, but I'm telling you now that it needs to be set to all. That doesn't change it. What changes is the purchase type because it defaults to reviews written by users who paid for the product. We want everything because nobody paid for my demo. They got it for free because it's a free demo. So let's per take in purchase type and let's put in here, let's say and purchase type equals all. And then things start showing up. So here's actually all the reviews of my uh, game here. Not to brag, but all of them are positive. So that's very good. I'm very proud of that, actually. So let's take uh, one of them. I think I have a good one down here where he writes in English, this one. Because another thing I figured out is that you can see it here in, uh, in JSON and that's fine. That's good. You are most likely a developer, so you don't really care and you can read this. That's fine. But by clicking around on the Steam page, I figured out that you can also browse into a user and see their reviews. So reviews from a user, in this case, uh, 
a profile called Crazy Gamer, and um, if you you can there see their reviews also of, also of demons apparently. So if you go into uh, the page again and take like um, this Steam ID here from the JSON and put it into this URL, and here we have uh, Troll who have played uh, 3 hours and played 2.3 uh, 2, 3.2 hours when he reviewed and he thinks it's a great game. So that's perfect. So here we can actually see the review in kind of uh, not in context you could say, but on the real Steam page. Um and you can do this for all of them if you want and um, see it in a little more beautiful um, beautiful way. So this is briefly just how you do it. I will put the uh, useful links in the description. And if you like this video, please hit the like button. And if you want to see more video like this, but more maybe for my uh, fireworks game, please hit the subscribe button because I will keep doing these videos. This tips and tricks videos like this is not super common on my channel, but I actually have a little uh, backlog of things I want to share like this. So there might be a few uh, other videos like this in the future. But um, for now, now you know how to view user reviews of a demo on Steam. Hope you can use it. See you in the next video.